Hello viewers, this is a tutorial on how to automate profile scraper on Facebook using Socinator. This will help you in targeting, filtering, and scraping Facebook profiles on configured time. Let's start with the accounts manager screen from where we can navigate to configure the accounts. To do that, right click on your Facebook account and hit go to tools. It will take you to the account configuration screen. You can also see the available activities which can be automated on Facebook through Socinator. Let's click Profile Scraper. This is very useful as it makes it faster and easier to scrape a number of profiles within a period of time while narrowing them down in the process. There are several configuration categories for Profile Scraper activity. Let's start with the first one, Search Query. As the name suggests, Search Query allows you to command the software on how to search targeted profiles to scrape. There are two important sections, Query Type and Query. Query Type defines how you want to search the profile. You can select the Query Type by clicking the drop-down button. Once you have selected your Query Type, you may enter the query either manually by typing in this area, or you may click this button to import from CSV or text file. Select the right file and click Open. When you're done, Click the Add Queries to the List button and it will be added to the Queries list over here. To show you how this works, let's test each query type. For keywords, let's input James Bond for example. Click Add. So this will target Facebook profiles containing this keyword. For location, we need to enter a specific location, let's say London. Click Add. And this will target profiles who live in this location. Next is Group Members. We need a Facebook group URL here. Let's use the How to Draw Manga group. Copy the group URL and paste it in the query box. Click Add. So this will target the members of this specific Facebook group. Next is Fan Page Likers. We need a specific Facebook page for this one. Let's use the Oreo page. Copy the link and paste the page URL here. Click Add. So this will target all the users who like that page. Next is friend of friend. So we need a profile here or a profile URL here. Let's say this profile for example. Copy the profile URL, paste it here, click add. So this will target the friends of that specific Facebook user. Next we have post likers. We need a specific post URL here. So let's use this post from Oreo, click share and then click copy link. Success. Paste the link here and click add and this will target the users who liked that specific post. For post sharer, let's use the same post URL. Paste it, click add. It will target the users who shared that post. Next we have post commenters. Paste the URL, click add and it will target the users who commented on that post. Next, we have graph search URL. We need a search URL here, so we need to search something on Facebook. Let's say this one. So the search results for our search, James Bond. Make sure you're under the People tab because we are targeting Facebook users. So copy the search URL, paste it here, click Add, and it will target all the profiles who appeared in our search. Next is page post likers. So let's use the same page, the Oreo page, copy the page URL, paste it here, click add, and this will target the likers of the posts of that page. Next is group post likers. Let's use the manga group, how to draw manga, copy the group URL, paste it here, click add. So this time it will target the likers of that group's posts. Next, we have custom profile URL. As the name suggests, we need a specific profile URL. Let's use the one from earlier. So copy the profile URL, paste it here, click add, and it will target that specific profile. Next, we have suggested friends. So these are your suggested friends. So you may simply input friends and click add, and it will target the suggested friends of your Facebook account. Next, we have event URL. We need a specific Facebook event here. So let's say this one, copy the event URL, paste it in the query box and click add. 
and it will target the users who are interested in that event. Finally, we have user follower. Paste the profile URL here and click add and it will target the followers of that specific Facebook user. You can add several query types and queries depending on your preferences. If you want to delete a query from the list, click the trash bin button on the right side of the query you want to remove. Let's say keywords, click and it's gone. The next configuration category is job configuration. This allows us to choose the speed at which an account should scrape profiles. We have already created a few activity speed configurations which you can use, like slow with an average daily activities of 20, medium with 50, fast with 66, or super fast with 83. Super fast is not recommended for new or real accounts. If you want to define your own speed settings, click advanced settings. Delay between each operation is the number of seconds between each Facebook profile is scraped. Delay between jobs is the number of minutes the software should pause after scraping the number of profiles you set and scrape number of profiles per job. Scrape number of profiles per job will allow you to specify the number of Facebook users you want to scrape per job or per cycle. You may also specify the number of profiles to scrape per hour, per day, and per week. Click this box if you want to increase each day with a specific number until it reaches another custom number of scrape max profiles per day. You can also create a daily schedule under day of the week when to operate. This is very useful if you want to keep scraping profiles even when you're asleep or busy doing other things. If you don't want to operate on let's say Monday, click the trash bin button under Monday and it's gone. You can add multiple time frames in one day. Simply click the day you want to configure, Monday for example, provide the start and end time, let's say 12 a.m. to 1.59 a.m. and click add interval and it's added. Let's add another one, let's say 2 a.m. to 11.59 p.m. click add interval. So as you can see, we can have several schedules in one day. You may save these time settings by clicking create favorite. Let's call it Facebook profile scraper. Click Save. We can then open it by clicking Select Favorite Time and choosing Facebook Profile Scraper. The last tool is User Filters. This allows us to filter the profiles we want to scrape. So the first one is Genders. We can specify the genders of the profiles we want to scrape. So we can choose Male or Female or both. Then for Location, we can enter a specific location or the place where the user should live. So let's say London, for example. You may clear using the clear all button and it's gone. You may also import from CSV or text file by clicking this button. Select the right file and click open, then click save when you're done. So when you're satisfied with all the configurations and are ready to start scraping profiles on Facebook, let's scroll up and click save. Success. Then click the status button to make it active. You may view the Facebook profiles you have scraped by clicking the reports button over here. Now, let me show you another option in automating Profile Scraper on Facebook using Socinator. This one allows us to create campaigns, which is perfect for multiple accounts. To start, let's go to the upper right corner of the app and click the Social drop-down button and select Facebook. This will take us to the Accounts tab. Let's switch to the Scraper tab and select Profile Scraper on the left side of the app. Here we can name our campaign, let's call it Facebook Profile Scraper. For search query, let's target the group members of the Oreo group from earlier. Click Add. For job configuration, let's select Slow. For user filters, let's select both male and female. Other configurations, it's up to you. If you want to scrape unique users from each account, then check this box. When you're ready, let's click the blue button, Select Account or Accounts. In this part, you can select multiple Facebook accounts. Since you only have one account right now, let's go with that by checking the box and click save. After saving, let's click the red button, create campaign. If you want to proceed, click the box of the account and the save button. This will automatically bring us to the campaigns tab where you can see that we have successfully created our Facebook profile scraper campaign. Click the status button to pause the campaign and the action button over here will allow us to edit, duplicate, or delete the campaign. You may also view the profiles you have scraped by clicking the report button over here. 
And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you learned a lot and thank you so much for watching.